Hello everybody, hello and welcome once again to an all-star presentation of wrestling by your promoters Dale and Martin. Now the first event of this evening's program is a light heavyweight contest. Six rounds, five minutes each round, one fall, one submission or one KO to decide the winner. In the red corner from Lagos, West Africa, the one and only Johnny Quango. And he's opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner from Bolton, the Anglo-Russian Ivan Pentecost. <laughs> and your referee for all occasions, the one and only Joe DiRaggio. Second out, first round. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you, and welcome to the Woking Center Halls for the first time uh, wrestling transmission from here. And this first preliminary contest is a light heavyweight bout between Johnny Quango of West Africa at 13-7 versus Ivan Pensikoff of Bolton at 14-2. So just Quango giving away just a few pounds here, about nine pounds. Doesn't look it, though, to look at him, this West African. Uh, because he's very powerful muscular, but he's always kept his weight right down to 13 and a half stone. This is a six five minute round contest, one fall to the side, the first fall. And the feet on the left belong to Joe Dorazio. There he is, Joe Dorazio, the referee of London now. And a pretty good crowd have turned out here for this first afternoon's wrestling from uh, the Woking Center Halls. And we hope we're going to have a very, very interesting program. The, the main bout, of course, of which is Burt Royal versus Steve Logan. And also we have Bob Kirkwood versus Tony Sinclair coming down from Manchester to take on the Portsmouth man. So an interesting program. I think we can rely on uh, a couple of good bouts out of the three at least. Ivan Pensikoff there, one of the most underrated wrestlers in the game today. Showing how he'll uh, counter Quango with every one of his moves, except of course the famous headbutt. He'll have trouble with that. Cartfield in case, didn't have to, but he went in case Quango followed him up. But he didn't follow him up. So a stranglehold now to Pentecost. see exactly how he did that, Quango, but something to the right ear worried um, Panzerkampf. Anyway, he let go very quick. Panzerkampf put on a wee bit of weight since we last saw him. He was uh, Quango's weight here this afternoon, 13.7, and now he's 14.2. of a straight arm, but the reverse weapon step.
First round of six, just one fall is the decider here. So it coming out of the way very sharp. And if he's thinking of it now, he can forget it. He's only got five seconds. Johnny Quango of uh, Nigeria, the light heavyweight champion of West Africa, doesn't worry about even thinking of using that famous headbutt of his until his opponent starts to bend the rules a little. Well, if uh, Pentikoff decides to get <laughs> bend the rules a bit here today, that's just what he's going to get for his trouble. And he knows it because Pentikoff was watching that from the opposite corner. On two in this light heavyweight contest here at the Woking Center Halls between Johnny Quango and Ivan Pensico. Quango, West Africa, a neat little short range jab there to the stomach. And Quango again going for his uh, single finger interlock, which often leads to the Quango headbutt, but not ground position he wants. An arm locked in between Quango's legs there. <laughs> Not an orthodox hold, but he might get the pins and needles swimming around a bit. <laughs> well, that thumb is not in the eye, or the referee Chodorazio wouldn't have allowed it, but uh, it was quite a way underneath it. Perfectly legal. The Pensikoff right knee takes over and both hands on the face bar. And a jaw hold from there. Another of Quango's specialities. But Pensikoff's put it, so stop to it temporarily anyway. Pensikov quite wise to use his uh, extra weight here. Oh yes, typical Pensikov move. Nice trip with the legs. But all Pensikov winds up with is a double-handed toe hold. on the way after a handshake. The referee doesn't like it. Quango doesn't like it. And that's the sort of move that Pensikoff made that will start Quango thinking of that head that he was polishing in the last interval. <laughs> Pensikoff absolutely right to attack from the rear at this moment. Ah, 
Oh, nicely in from that cartwheel. A couple of minutes to go in the second. Tenzikov's cartwheel may have looked unnecessary. It turned out that it wasn't. Okay.